today I'm here with Beck and we're in this lovely built out kitchen area where people can trial different types of assistive equipment for the kitchen. We've selected a range of different things just to bring awareness to those of you watching that there's a lot of different um, pieces of assistive technology for helping people be more independent in the kitchen. This could be people living with a disability, an older adult, this could be um, you've lost strength, you're living with rheumatoid arthritis, you're living with a neurological condition and just operating a lot of things and all of the um, intricacies of dexterity and strength in the hand can become quite challenging and all of a sudden we start to see that a lot of the things that we took for granted like making a nice tea or coffee, opening up um, jars and cans and even using cutlery can be really challenging. So let's have a look at what we have here which appears to be a kettle. It does. Yes. So this is our yeast cellar kettle range. So um, they've really evolved the range over the last few years so now you can get different colours to suit you know different home decors but it is a tipping kettle. So you can position your cup nice and neatly into the kettle and then it only takes one hand and you can actually tip your liquid straight in there. It's one and a half litres, so you can still get a good few cups of tea out of it, and it does move out of the tipping component. Um, and it's clean quite, it and, you can. Yeah. And you know, one and a half litres, it makes it a little less heavier than some of the other kettles on the market. Yeah. Um, so it's quite easy to clean, it's quite easy to one touch button to open up. Yeah. yeah. From an occupational therapy, physiotherapy point of view. So lovely in terms of being able to still, you know, be independent and making a lovely tea or coffee for yeah. yourself and friends and family, but being able to do that in a safe manner. If you're living with, like I said before, rheumatoid arthritis, difficulties in the hand, even shoulder can still become an issue there. That's quite a lot of function to then for the arm to be able to actually make tea and coffee. So we can take those functions for granted. Um, and it's just wonderful to have such um, so much um, ingenuity in being able to use something like this in the home environment. So some other things that we've got here is... Our one-touch can opener. One-touch can opener. So this little device here, it's as simple as putting on top of a can, pressing the button, and you can hand spray. It'll just work its way around the can. Um, leaving a nice smooth edge on the can and when it's finished you'll hear a click and you can lift this up and the lid will come with it. So um, you don't even need to hold it on, you don't need to force it on there, you literally just need to sit it on the um, edge of the can and it will manoeuvre itself. Brilliant. We'll have a look at an example of a, um, a, a jar opener in a moment um, but also wanted to highlight two other pieces. What have we got going on here? This is our Good Grips weighted soup spoon. So the Good Grips range come in these nice ergonomic handles. You can get them in a weighted handle or you can get them in just the standard handle that um, has a bit more surface area to hold. I like the soup spoon, especially coming into winter. Um, so the soup spoon has a really good little tapered edge at the top. So a lot of the cutlery ranges, they use a standard teaspoon. Um, lots of people do enjoy their soup, so especially for those with the shakes or things like that, mm. you'd know those conditions. Um, you can also bend these to suit as well. So, um, yeah, but the soup spoon itself is nice and deep and mm. it's quite good. Yeah, so in terms of functionality, a weighted spoon and a larger grip, once again, very good if someone's living with a condition where they've got a tremor. Uh, that weighted spoon will help um, minimise um, the effects of that on the liquid um, or something that someone's using with knife and fork as well. And that larger grip is much easier to uh, grip and use uh, the utensil with in the context of decreasing range of motion and joint stiffness through the hand as well. So they're fantastic um, pieces of equipment to be able to maintain independence with um, all aspects of eating. Uh, let's have a look at the jar opener and put you on the spot of hopefully seeing if it works. But I think it's a wonderful piece of equipment, as a lot of these are, that not everyone knows that exists. And the reason we do these videos is just to show that there's, if you're struggling with things in the home environment, there are some great solutions that equipment suppliers such as Anstey's in our local area have some wonderful solutions that they can show you through and often um, with activities of daily living, occupational therapists is really well placed to give you advice as well in the home environment. So 
Let's see how we go. Do you want to make sure it's nice and tight so they don't sure, think I'm cheating? I can make sure it's <laughs> nice and tight, it's fine. Okay, so for anyone who thinks they need a man in the house to open a jar, that is not true. So with this one, we simply put it on top and we press the button. And then the device will actually do the work for you. So if you wanted to, you can hold the jar, um, but it's quite steady in itself. So it'll actually close over on the lid and these two will hold the jar whilst this middle bit does all the work. I'm not strong enough. <laughs> <laughs> and then it will continue to actually untuck the lid from the thread and then it will move out. So you'll know that it's finished when these little stabilizers come off the jar. And then we can take it off and the jar lid is off. That's pretty amazing. <laughs> yeah, I just love that there's some really low cost, um, low risk items of assistive technology available to everyone in the community now to remain independent at home in the best way that they can with all of these wonderful devices. So change can be confronting in your life and if you're thinking about, you know, you've lost some independence, just know that there's wonderful people out in the community, equipment suppliers, health professionals that can help you find some of these solutions to maintain your independence. Yeah. Wonderful. Thanks so much. I'm glad it worked. Thank you. <laughs> we'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for your time.